Welcome to Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown. An early demo of this game has just dropped on Steam. I believe it's on from the 6th until the 17th of June, so you get a bit of time to try it out. I've actually never played a Test Drive game before. I know that is absolutely criminal. I should definitely play the older ones. Hopefully my PC doesn't explode. <laughs> Without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. So this is obviously a demo build. I do also have streamer mode ah, enabled, so there Perfect is time. no music at all. But uh, hopefully... The game runs As part all right. of the competition, we have made many places like this one available across the island. We want to ensure our participants have access to the best cars possible. However, you won't be able to drive some of these cars until you've gained enough reputation. The organization has the means to match its ambitions. And as it happens, here are the first three cars available to start the competition. Take your pick. Right, I've got three cars we can choose from. Solar Crown would like Nissan to 370Z, the first Alpine A110, points. and a Ford Mustang. As for me, I must leave you for the time being. But Send I me some of those solar coins as well. Big up, Vivian. In the meantime, you can now compete against other members of the Solar Crown. Good luck. Here we are at the first dealership where you select one of the three cars. You can actually test drive all of them. So I think I'm going to have to do that. Let's start off with the Alpine. A good thing to know as well is if you click on buy and customize the car how you want. So let's go with the blue. Let's go with this interior here. Maybe switch up the wheels to what I'd want. Uh, let's go with these ones. So you can actually test drive it exactly like this. So you can fine tune your car and then take it for a quick spin around the block. Right, here we go. The first time we are going. We, we've dropped down quite a bit in the frames, which I think is to be expected because it is a demo, but the game is actually looking really good. It is in automatic as well. I would prefer it in manual, so hopefully I can change that after all of this. But the car is looking pretty detailed. So you've got a bunch of different camera options available. The interior is looking really detailed. I don't really want to look around too much just in case I crash. I've got to admit as well, the Alpine sounds incredible. I've also seen a bunch of people saying that the car sounds are really good. Again, we've only tried this one so far, but let's jump into the next one, which will be the 370Z. Let's go with red. Here's our first error, as I can't actually see my interior. Ooh. 370 is sounding good. Every car apparently takes around four months to model and get right in the game to like go with what the manufacturers want, apparently. You can kind of tell that from the interior and I guess the exterior as well. I'm probably gonna go with the 370 over the Alpine or the Mustang, but we will definitely check out the Mustang. Oh, the acceleration. Oh, the pop there as well. <laughs> I, I kind of want to go with the Mustang now. <laughs> Check out that interior, looking good. You guys will have to let me know as well if the car sounds do actually sound accurate compared to, you know, the real life cars. Genuinely, I think the visuals actually look all right. Like, having a look at it under the tunnel there, man, that pop, I'm so sorry for speaking over it, but that pop, oh, will it do it again? There we go. Oh man, that's so sick. After test driving all of them, I did actually really like the Mustang. I did say I was going to go for the 370 as well, but I feel like a lot of people are also going to go with that. So going to be different, but I'm going to go with the Alpine. What color do I want to go for? Do I want to go for the light? Or I, I feel like I want to go with the lighter blue. Yeah, let's go with the lighter blue. Let's go with the black leather with the blue stitches and suede wheel. And then we've got... Three different options for the wheels. I think I went with these ones last time, but I, I kind of prefer these ones a bit more. I don't really like the stock ones. So let's go with that and let's buy our first car. Welcome to the Solar Crown. Increase your reputation. Yep, we'll definitely do that. Show everyone who you are. Look at those cars right there. We've got the Koenigsegg, we've got the Lamborghini Centenario, and then a McLaren. 720. I get confused when it comes to McLaren because they all look the same. Congratulations. Have fun with your brand new car. Oh, that they even hand you your keys and everything. That's sick. Congratulations on acquiring your very first car. This is when you fully enter the tournament. You can now take part in the first races of the Solar Crown. Your car is already eligible for the races. All you need to do is go to the starting locations. Thank you, Alice. All the races are grouped together around meeting points. 
which makes it easier for you to meet other participants. So we've got access to quite a lot of the districts on the map. We've obviously got this small area to check out. We've also got a player that's appeared on the map as well. But we need to go to our first event, which is over here. So let's route to that. And here we go. Driving our car for the first time. The frames have dropped a lot more as well. That <laughs> They're about like 40 at the moment. Right, first event. Let's jump into it. I am going to probably get demolished, <laughs> but, but let's see how it goes. Oh, so you can change everything in here. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to sort out the driving assist, finally. So let's put them on experts. So we've got Benz only, manual gearbox. I kind of want ABS on. We'll keep that off. We'll go with that. Stay in control, but I don't think I've got enough time to actually check all this out. Uh, I don't know what this is. We'll look at it after. First race event. Let's go. Oh my, the frames. Sorry. Oh, hello. Right. Drop down. I forgot that I'm now in manual, so I do actually need to do it myself. I should definitely... Oh, taking out the... Oh, I've absolutely damaged the car. Bruh, on the wrong side of the road. It doesn't matter though. We're in a race event. We check out the other cameras. Let's do some interior view for now and see what that's like. Oh, we're drifting. The mirror reflection, as you can see, is definitely not ready yet. That is, that's like <laughs> 10 FPS, if not worse. We've also got a bonnet cam. My car is still a bit destroyed. I think. I, I don't know if it... Does it repair itself? Let's check. No, it doesn't. <laughs> okay. I'm hoping there's like, options around the map so you can actually fix your car. I'm assuming there will be, right? Surely. All right. That should be in the bag. Let's go. We won our first race. Granted, they're all novice difficulty, <laughs> so they're not the best. But I will take a win for our first event. Look at them all level 60. Sweats. Got first completion bonus. What's that? we got some rep, so we are at level four. We need to get to level five to unlock that dealership. Gradually getting our money back. Oh, okay, we get some bonuses. First one of the day, we get an extra 6,000. We've got 28,000 for that. So you can actually do it again from here, but let's jump back into free roam and get into the next event. Yes, yeah, so my car is still destroyed. So let's go see if there is something I think we've got a speed trap. Is that up there or is that down here? That's down here. Okay, nice. First speed trap done. Did we even get a star on that? No, <laughs> we, we didn't even get a single star. I can see a petrol station up here. So let me see if going to that fixes the car. I'd assume it would, right? Gas station discovered. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's awesome. So if you go to a gas station, you can clean and repair your car. Nice. Okay, we're fixed. We're good. And then you can also change your vehicle, which I don't have anything else. But you can change your vehicle from here in the open world. And we've also got a solar coin there. Or something. Is it a solar coin? Yes, it is. Radiant prize collected. Okay, nice. Oh, we reached level five of that as well. So that's the first, like, mission done. We've discovered a new district. And I see something... Is that another one of them coins in the middle over there? I don't really want to destroy my car by going into here, but I guess I have to. There we go. Oh, we got 20,000. I didn't realize it gave me that much. I'm just destroying everything. The solar crown is there to help you in the competition. You can now access our workshops. The workshops are fitted out with cutting edge technology and fully automated. You can upgrade every little detail of your cars. The Solar Crown Committee wants to congratulate you on your recent progress. They're offering you some solar coins so you can buy your first car part. Don't worry. A list can tell you everything you need to know. Oh, we also got a bunch of events all the way over there. We've got eight tars. Everything's hitting me at once. <laughs> you can't enter the race if your car isn't powerful enough. So it's good that we've got you workshops. Go to the workshop to make these modifications. Marks it on your map. It on your map. So we've got two. We've got one close by to where we are now. And then we've got it one all the way over here. I can only fast travel here. I can't drive, so I have to fast travel. It's good to know that that is a thing, though. You can fast travel in this game. We are in the workshop. I can also see that we've got a solar coin over here. 
So let's grab that. Got my car here, and then I believe if anyone else was in here, their car would also be displayed in these sections. So let's customize our car for the first Welcome time the and see what we can do. Check out performance. Let's chuck that on. So we've got a responsive turbo going into the car. And then we've also got a few other options here. We've got intake, ignition, pistons, and exhaust. I I'm assuming I haven't got any of these unlocked yet. They're all level 10 for performance. And then you've got sport at level 25, super sport at 35, and then race at level 45. We also have a bunch more options. We've got suspension, we've got transmission, aero, tires, ECU. So once I level up more, I will come back to the performance upgrades. We've also got some cosmetic parts that we can apparently put on. I kind of like the ones that I already have to be honest, but it is cool to see that we've got a few more options of wheels on here. We can change the window tint. So you've got 50%, 65, 80, 95. Let's go with 50%. Let's do that. You can also change the interior if you want to. And that's all we got for now in terms of customization is wheels, window tint, and the interior. So our primary task, we've got to reach level 12. And then we've got a bunch of side ones here. Acquire a vehicle from the daily driver category. Visit the locate. Oh, we've got to visit the HQs, haven't we? Okay, so we've got a bunch of these that we can check out. So I'd imagine a lot of these will just unlock as you play the game. 1% of roads discovered. So there's definitely going to be quite... That car just disappeared. <laughs> there's definitely going to be quite a lot of roads that we can go down. There's also off-road routes. But let's check out the Street HQ. Change your vehicle from here or you can just enter. Right, let's have a look. So there would usually be music playing, but I have streamer mode on, so everyone's gonna be dancing around to nothing. We've got someone we can talk to. Okay, Mila. What are we saying? You seem cool. Come and see me later and we can talk. Oh, okay, right. You need to be level 12. So this is actually part of our first mission. You need to get to level 12 and then you'll be able to join one of the two clans. But everything going on, we've got a big DJ set, a dance room, got a VIP room, which definitely won't be available until I join one of these uh, factions. But let's get out of here, go back and actually do a race event. We've got highway coming up. We can take this on to hopefully open it up a bit more, see what its top speed is as we gradually upgrade it. We've also got this thing appearing at the top of my screen. I don't actually know what it is. I've kind of noticed it, but when you do like clean driving and stuff, oh, we can cash in a thousand solar coins. Oh, that's awesome. I've got nine out of 10 remaining. I don't, it is that like daily. It's nice to see that I'm actually getting close to 60 FPS again. Oh, I got 5,000. Yes, let's bank that. Oh, we got a speed trap, right. Can I actually get at least one star on this? I am going like my top speed, 153 miles an hour. What do we get? Please. Let's go, we got two stars. I didn't actually see if that, oh, we, I got 20,000 for that? Mad. No, I did not mean to go down here, but it's happening now. Oh, we got the solar hotel. But you know what? It's actually good that I came down here because we're at the solar hotel. I did actually want to check this out. So I'm going to have to make one more detour until we go to the next race event. This is the main player hub within the game. There are obviously a bunch more around the island. You can go to your garage or you can just leave the hotel. Got a bar lounge at the back. You got a clothing store, a beauty salon. Oh, so you can actually change your character's model from here because by default, I was just given the female one. By the looks of it, you can change up quite a lot you can change like the size of your cheekbones my character definitely will not look like me but you can do all of that i honestly feel like i'd spend like a good hour just customizing my character in here right six changes made finish and pay we now have a new avatar and seeing as we now have a new character let's also check out the clothing store and see if there's any options for my guy i can give myself a beanie or like a hat if I want to. My guy literally looks the same. I've just changed the shoes and added a watch. And we can also enter our own suite. So this is basically where you'll be. It's the Solar Crown Hotel before you join a faction anyway. But I believe you can access a lot of things in here. So there's a massive board in front of us. Let's have a look. Show interface. So we've got daily challenges, my driver card. We've got the calendar, which obviously the game's not out yet fully. So none of that's going to be a thing. We can see out of the solar hotel, though. It would be awesome if we could actually see someone like driving. I don't know if that would be a thing 
in the full game. So all the clothing you already own, you can actually access in the wardrobe, which makes a lot of sense. Also curious, let me exit via the garage. We've got enough storage for six cars. I'm hoping we can have more than six cars, right? So we've got our car here, but if you go into the view information tab on the car, I believe if you have more than six vehicles, so obviously you have six on display, if you have more, you can actually remove it and put something else on display. If I have more than six cards, I can remove this from display or I can obviously put it back on display. Enter car and then can I, I can honk, start engine and leave hotel. Nice. I've been loving it so far. I think I've been playing for like an hour and I've not even scratched the surface of what you can actually do in this game. I genuinely am really enjoying it. I, I saw a lot of like negative feedback around the gameplay. You've got to remember this is an early access build of TDU Solar Crown. It's obviously not optimized. As you can see, we've also got a meeting point here. So I'm getting very distracted, but I saw that there. So we've got 12 of those around. You can change your car from there. So if I have more cars, I can do that. I genuinely have been enjoying it so far and I'm hoping that continues on because I do really want to enjoy this. But let's jump in to our next event and I did see that a wreck appeared so we'll check that out afterwards. I'm actually going to turn the race line completely off. I feel like this is going to go horribly wrong. This time we got a time trial, allegedly stroll. Let's go, I think it was like 2 minutes 10 or something like that we have to beat. Just remember that I've also turned off the driving assist for when it comes to the waypoint you know like the little line that appears on the road so doing that for this kind of event is definitely not what i wanted to do and i'm drifting but we're good we're good check out the interior to be honest i kind of want to stray away from the interior view mainly because the mirror frames are just so distracting but yeah i will try and jump into it every now and again but for, for now I'd rather stay away from it. I don't want to crash. So there is a car park around this area, which will be interesting. So after this event, oh, yeah, I know, I know. Okay, I messed up. Right, let's switch back out of here. The handling is definitely going to take a lot of getting used to. Also going past some kind of dealership there, was it, I think? I don't actually know. I'm sure we'll find out in due time. We're proper sliding. Take it out the bush. We've got the finish coming up. I had plenty of time left, even with all those mess ups. So that is race event number two done. Getting some XP, getting some cash as well. How much are we getting from this in total? 24,000, I'll take it. So I should hopefully be able to buy another car soon. I'm trying to figure out where that car wreck is. I think it was over this way. Is it in here? I can see some solar coins over there. Yep, it's definitely in here. All right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I think you're going to do that every time. Oh, it's close. Where? Oh, there it is. We got it. Our first wreck. Congratulations. You have found your first wreck. You can now view the rebuild progress in the garage. You also have more information on your map. There are car wrecks in every district. Do you think you can find them all? I'm hoping so. Oh, she just stopped talking. <laughs> okay. We haven't really checked out this radial menu yet. So I'll quickly show you that. So you can turn off the headlights. Obviously turn them back on. When you're parked up, the hazard lights do just come on automatically. You can also turn them off here. You can put the windows down. That's it on both sides. You can put the wipers on. Got an option to raise or lower the spoiler if it's there. And you can also lower the roof. And you can also stop the engine from here as well. That's part one of the demo for Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown. It's available up until June 17th. So depending on when you're watching this, you can try it out for yourselves. I am definitely going to play some more of this once I get a bit of time and get to level 12 and join one of the two clans. So as always, thank you for watching and be sure to keep an eye out on my channel for the next part real soon.